Have you ever noticed that the two front wheels of a car turn at different angles when the vehicle is making a turn? Have you ever thought, why? Welcome to the channel, Skilled Engineers. If you are visiting for the first time, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. The idea behind the Ackerman steering is that, the inner wheel should steer for a bigger angle, than the outer wheel in order to allow the vehicle to rotate around the middle point between the rear wheel axis. Consequently, the inner wheel travels with a slower speed than the outer wheel. The mechanism called Ackerman steering mechanism controls the steering angle of two front wheels. Let's see the history behind the Ackerman steering mechanism. Ackerman steering was first invented by Georg Lankensperger in Munich in 1817. It was then patented by Rudolf Ackermann in 1818 for horse-drawn carriages. In this mechanism, two wheels were kept at different points connected using a tie rod to make the two different wheels turn at different angles. So that one wheel can turn independent of the other wheel. Ackermann's principle of steering makes the car turn without any slip. The Ackermann steering mechanism is a modified four bars linkage mechanism. Let's first understand how wheel works. A moving wheel has two different types of velocities, one is the rotational velocity and the other is the translational velocity. These both velocities are equal in magnitude but are opposite in direction, hence they cancel each other. When the wheel has turned, the direction of the rotational velocity changes and there may be a possibility of slip. To avoid that slip, the direction of the translational velocity has to be changed. But, while turning the car, the inner wheel travels a small distance and need less translational velocity compared to the outer wheel. So, both wheels must have different translational velocities and different directions for rotational velocity. This difficulty can be overcome by having different steering angles for two front wheels. The purpose of Ackerman geometry is to avoid the need for tires to slip sideways when following the curved path. The geometrical solution to this is that all wheels shall have their axles arranged as radii of circles with a common center point. As the rear wheels are fixed, the center point must be on a line extended from the rear axle. Intersecting the axes of the front wheels on this line will ensure that when the front wheels are steered, the inside wheel will have a greater angle than the outside wheel. Advantages of Ackerman geometry. It prevents tire from slipping outward while turning the vehicle. It increases the controllability of vehicles by using shorter tire rods. Ackerman steering geometry makes the tire toe out, which enables them to easily drive through steep maneuvers. Thank you for watching the complete video. Hope you enjoyed it. For more such videos, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.